Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I thought I would answer the age old question, why sheep over goats? Um, now just, I get a lot of questions about this, usually in the comments, and I think I've, I've mentioned it many times and a number of reasons in past videos of why we don't own goats, uh, why we choose to own sheep. And I see a lot of homesteaders out there who like to get goats, especially when they're new to homesteading. Okay, so understand that I've had a couple of experiences before we actually got this homestead and they were with other homesteads or homestead-like areas, farms or something like that. And um, most of those other places had goats. And it was because of my experiences with those other places of why I don't own goats today. So here's, well, I'll give you a lot of reasons why I don't own goats, but I mean, there are a few reasons that goats, reasons why goats are beneficial. They're, they do provide some things that you won't find anywhere else. However, I find that list to be extremely short. <laughs> so let me tell you why we don't own goats. Number one, they're like unruly teenagers. Uh, goats are always trying to test their boundaries like teenagers do sometimes. And they're always trying to push their limits. And if you've owned teenagers, you know what I'm talking about. If you do, have not owned teenagers, a lot of times younger couples who don't have older children, they start a homestead and they get goats. Um, Teenagers, you know, are, I mean, they're, they're very closely, very similar. Goats, again, are always trying to test their limits. Uh, I've told people often that a goat gets up every morning and says, how can I kill myself today? Because they're always getting into trouble and doing things that could result in their death. You know how teenagers are. Teenagers are like, nothing in this world can hurt me. I'm invincible. A goat is the same way. And so you put up fences. The goats are going to try to get out of the fences. They're going to test the fences. They're going to get hung up in the fences. They'll even strangle themselves in the fences. There have been times where you go out and check on your goats and you find a goat that's been strangled in a fence. You put up electric fences. I have actually gone out and found goats dead in an electrical fence before because they get their horns or whatever, their head hung up in the fence and they keep getting electrocuted because usually the electric electrocution is not strong enough to kill a goat outright. But if they get hung up in it and they're constantly you know, getting electrocuted, their heart just gives out, they have a heart attack and they die. And you go out there in the next morning and you find your goats and there's one dead in the fence wire because he electrocuted himself. Um, I've seen people tie their goats up and you shouldn't do that with sheep either. Um, they tie their goats out thinking that they'll put them on a leash and you come back a couple hours later and the goat has wrapped itself around a tree or whatever it was tied to uh, and killed itself, strangled itself. Um, there's just lots of reasons. You go out, you have cars. And if you let your goats run around your homestead, they're climbing all over your cars, they're climbing over everything. I often tell this story that at one place where I was living, uh, we built a feeder for the goats because it's important to keep your feed of your animals off the ground. And so we built a feeder and the goats promptly within a day had destroyed it. They were head, head butting it with their heads and you know, ramming it and uh, they were crawling all in it, just tearing it up, knocking it over, just doing whatever they could to destroy this feeder where we were putting their feed, their hay. And within a day, it was completely destroyed. We built a feeder for our sheep. And you know what they did? They ate out of it like they were supposed to. But the goats, no, they're crawling all in it, hitting it with their heads, pooping in it, peeing in it doing everything other than eating out of it, which is what they were supposed to do. If you own goats, you will find that they, you know, they have their benefits. They do provide meat, they can provide milk, they can provide pelts if you're into that. But you're going to have a lot more trouble with them and containing them and keeping them for the reason you want them for than if you have sheep, okay? Um, sheep, sheep are not usually willing to test their boundaries. They do sometimes, um, but it's not something they get up every day and say, how can I get out of this fence today? How can I, how can I pass this barrier that my, there's a tree that just fell down over there. <laughs> um, if a tree, well, I'm here to hear it. So I guess that, that saying doesn't apply. Anyway, so um, if a tree falls in the woods, you know, okay. Um, so sheep, you know, they're not something, they're not an animal that tests their boundaries every single day. A goat does. A goat tests its boundaries every single day. They're just, they're just like unruly teenagers is the best way to describe it. The benefits of a goat, the, you know, my neighbors have a goat, have goats down here. They have a good number of them. And the benefit that I see of these goats is that when you walk on their property, all of the underbrush is clear. 
so they let them run their, on their property in the wood. They have a lot of woods, a lot of forest, and all the underbrush is gone. And it makes it makes it look really nice. It makes it look like it, has, it gives the appearance of a well kept forest. And so you walk on their property and you're like, wow, this looks really nice down here, because the goats have cleaned out everything of vegetation that they can actually reach, except for large trees. So it just it, there's a benefit there. It, it's actually a great. Um, uh, maintenance for forest and keeping the underbrush cut down because they do an excellent job. The other benefit that I have seen for goats is I believe they eat uh, uh, invasive plants. So things like kudzu, and I don't have any experience of this, um, you know, uh, personally, but I'm told that they eat kudzu. And around here, maybe where you live too, kudzu is a very invasive plant. It's a vine that grows up on trees and it's real hard to get rid of, but goats will eat that. Poison ivy. Poison ivy grows out in abundance here. But we don't, you know, they don't have a lot of poison ivy in my neighbors because their goats eat it all. They have no fear of poison ivy whatsoever. So there are some benefits of having goats. But when you, in my opinion, in my opinion, when you weigh the pros and the cons of sheep and goats, sheep and goats, sheep wins hands down every day. Uh, they're just so much easier to manage. They don't test their boundaries. They're not, they're not always looking. So a lot of times they don't understand what it is you're trying to do. Um, they can be very fearful, you know, just like goats can be, very skittish until until they get to know that you, and understand that you're not uh, you're not a predator to them, you're not you're not a danger to them. But sheep, in my opinion, are just so much easier to manage, and I th I never knew that until I had had both, and I had been around a, a, a good amount of time, been around both, uh, and so now having been around both, I can say honestly that I much rather enjoy the sheep. They are so much less effort. And so um, that's what I have for you today. Uh, sheep over goats, sheep, absolutely, 100%, every day of the week, twice on Sunday, because that's just, they're just so much more easy to manage. But, you know, goats have benefits. I just don't think they outweigh the benefits of a sheep. Now for you goat owners out there, if you enjoy your goats, um, if, if at some point you get frustrated and having to deal with your goats over and over again, let me just urge you not to give up. Try sheep, try the sheep, See how they work out and, you know, go from there. You know, try, some, try sheep before you give up. I think you're going to have an entirely different experience. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. See you next time on the Homestead.